This call is now being recorded. What's up with the Signals.net? It's your boy, Coop, man. We back at you with another one of these interviews. I know it's been a while. Been dealing with some things, man, personal issues, man. But I'm hopefully going to get this shit back right and get consistent again, man. I'm definitely trying. But um, today, man, you know, we're going to pick up where we left off at, man, where we where we usually leave off at. You know, I got a new, a fresh face. We've been uh, promoting on the site for a while now with, with songs here and there. And uh, before I uh, go on, you know, shout out to Rap Bay, man, for the hookup, man. We appreciate you, Ryan. Um, but today, I got my boy Chaos Loke, man. What's going on with you, OG? What's cracking, homie? Uh, man, for the listeners, man, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself, man, let everybody know uh, where you from, man, you know, wh- what you do in this game. Yeah, my name is Chaos Loke. I'm from Hanson Hills, you know what I'm saying? That's in Pacoima, California, you know what I'm saying? 818, you know what I'm saying? Valley shit, you know what I'm saying? I'm fresh up on the scene, you know what I'm saying? Rapping from a super maximum penitentiary sale, you know what I'm saying? 23 and 1. On my way to the crib soon, you know what I'm saying? Uh... I'm here to stay. Correct. Uh, maximum security prison. How long you been down, man? Yeah, shit, I've been down for 12 years, you know what I'm saying, since 2008. You know what I'm saying? 11 and a half, you know what I'm saying? I've been down since 2008. You know what I'm saying? I'm in the super maximum penitentiary now. I've been in the super maximum penitentiary since February the 16th, 2016. So it doesn't, man. Um... If you don't mind, um, you want to give us a, a, a little uh, rundown uh, uh, about the situation, what, what got you in in prison? I uh, guess. Yeah, this call is originating from an Ohio correctional facility and may be recorded and monitored. What led me to prison, you know what I'm saying, was jealousy and envy, you know what I'm saying? Niggas was, and bitches was hating on me on the streets, you know what I'm saying? I was doing my thing, doing my rap thing, you know what I'm saying, coming up. You know what I'm saying? Uh, getting my grind on, just focusing on my music. You know what I'm saying? Had bands on deck. You know what I'm saying? And motherfucker tried to set me up to get robbed, take me out the game and kill me. You know what I'm saying? So shit, I turned the tables on them. You know what I'm saying? Ended up shooting the nigga. You know what I'm saying? He snitched on me. I ended up getting locked up in the pen for 15 years. Damn. So niggas tried to set you up. You end up pulling the wool over their eyes and reversing the shit. And the niggas took the stand on you. Yeah. Who... Shit, crazy in the street. You know what I'm saying? These niggas acting like they gangsters and shit, but they snitching. You know what I'm saying? Shit, when the tables get turned on them, they want a the motherfucker put their right hand up. You know what I'm saying? Tell the whole truth and nothing but the truth. You feel me? But these motherfuckers That's... tried to rob me. You know what I'm saying? Talking about they going to take something from Chaos Loke, but Chaos Loke wasn't going for that shit. You know what I'm saying? Shit, so I turned the tables on them motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? And, uh... Shit, fuck they ass up. It was two victims in my case. You know what I'm saying? I had the motherfuckers recanting their statements and shit. But the one nigga, you know what I'm saying? The one victim, he was scared and shit. So he just kept on pushing, pressing the motherfucking issue to try to keep me in the pen. Was this in California? Nah, this was in um, Dayton, Ohio. You know what I'm saying? Dayton, Ohio, that's my second home. You know what I'm saying? Okay, Dayton, Ohio. So... Uh, you, you know, for, for, for some of us who, uh, are not too familiar with, with the laws and stuff, I mean, you, you was basically defending yourself, correct? Shit, they ain't looking at it like that because I end up hunting them down. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I found okay. out that they was prodding on me. They calling my phone and shit, talking about, oh, we gonna smoke you, we gonna rob you, we gonna take you. Nah. So I ended up finding out who it was. You know what I'm saying? I did my research, did my investigation through the streets, and I pulled down on them, caught them slipping. You know what I'm saying? And first I was just beating their ass. You know what I'm saying? Then the motherfucker, um, the nigga and shit that was trying to rob me and shit, locked himself in the car. So I shot through the window, tried to blow his braids off, but I ended up shooting him in the back. You know what I'm saying? He he, he survived and shit. Then he came to court. Sheesh, man! Crazy, crazy, crazy. So. Chaos Luck, man. You said, uh, you, you said Pacoima? Yeah, I'm from Pacoima, California. Pacoima, California, man. Just was, how long you been rapping, man? Shit. I've been doing my thing, you know what I'm saying, uh, seriously, you know what I'm saying, shit, since 2007. But I've been rapping my whole life ever since I was a youngster. Now, were you able to drop, uh, I mean, release any projects before your, um, 
uh, extended vacation? Yeah, I was um, able to drop Laugh Now and Die Later. You know what I'm saying? That's one mixtape. Because I was working on these mixtapes, you know what I'm saying, when I was on the street. So I ended up dropping Laugh Now and Die Later in another um, mixtape called Gangsta Crump Music. But I ended up renaming that mixtape Laugh Now and Die Later too. So I had those two mixtapes cracking on the streets when I was out there. And I was on um, one week away. I had just made it off of parole. You know what I'm saying? I hooked up with Spider Lope. You know what I'm saying? And um, I was on my way back to L.A. and shit the same week that I caught this motherfucking case. You know what I'm saying? These motherfucking haters and shit didn't want to see me dip. You know what I'm saying? Get my sign on. So they tried to pull a motherfucking... This call is originating from an Ohio correctional facility and may be recorded and monitored. I put 211 on me because they didn't want to see me shine. They knew I was going back to Cali and I wasn't coming back. That's crazy, man. Yeah, definitely individuals move like that, man. They 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 see you trying to uh, pave a way for yourself, and they do everything everything in their power to make sure they don't bring you a glass of hot water in in a, in a scorching heat. You know what I mean? They rather see you do some fucked up shit and have you right where you at right now. You know, and then they think you the crazy one. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> Hell yeah, see, these motherfuckers bought it on themselves, you know what I'm saying? I I was mad at my own business, you know what I'm saying? I wasn't worried, I wasn't thinking about the motherfuckers. <laughs> I was just thinking about my, you know what I'm saying, rap career and making it back home to my birthplace, you know what I'm saying? The land. Right, right, indeed, man. So, um, you know, we, we I call, I wasn't able to catch wind of you bef bef uh, before you got locked up musically, but now I'm hip. Um, you've been locked down 12 years, so you've been, you've been writing and rapping the whole time you've been down, right? Yeah, I've been writing, you know what I'm saying, the whole time I've been down, you know what I'm saying, um, but I really got cracking in 2016, you know what I'm saying, after I came to the Super Maximum Penitentiary, because when I was on the main line, all I was doing was fighting and banging and, you know what I'm saying, fighting with the police all the motherfucking time, so I really ain't have time to, you know what I'm saying, uh, to sit down and record a lot of music like I do now. You know what I'm saying? 23 hours in the cell, I ain't got no choice, you know what I'm saying, but to focus on myself and, uh, shit, get straight to it. Shit, on the main line, there's so much gang activity going on, shit. I had a keyboard, you know what I'm saying? So I was going to the music room, but at the same time, I was running my gang and, you know, riots popping off on the yard every motherfucking week. You know what I'm saying? Police, you know what I'm saying? Fucking with a nigga. So it was always some drama, so I, I really couldn't, you know what I'm saying, focus all the way on my on my craft, because it was always something going on on the yard, you know what I'm saying? But now I'm so for maximum penitentiary, so I, I got a lot of time to concentrate. So, um, how many projects have you released from prison? Shit, I released four new albums from prison, and three mixtapes. You know what I'm saying? That I did on the street. You know what I'm saying? So, with your with your journey as a recording as an inmate, um, are you able? Are you, uh, you said you had a keyboard? Um, are you doing a lot of recording in the prison facility, or you doing a lot of over the Ohio phone? Correctional facility, and may be recorded and monitored. Yeah, they snatched my keyboard up because of my high security status. You know what I'm saying? So my, my, I ain't got my keyboard, but I still be recording. You know what I'm saying? Uh, my way. You know what I'm saying? I get okay. in. You know okay, saying? okay. Real sex and shit. And I, uh, right, right. You, you don't gotta. You know, I, I, I we, yeah. <laughs> okay, but um, I mean, so as far as the, as that process is going, and you know, is it is it difficult for you? Nah, I mean, it's, it, it ain't difficult for me because I make shit happen, you know what I'm saying? Because I, I, I find a way and I just do it, you know what I'm saying? So I just do it, you know what I'm saying? I don't let this shit stop me from doing nothing, you know what I'm saying? These obstacles try to get in my way, but I overcome that shit. It's easy for me. All I do is just drop that shit back to back, you know what I'm saying? It's nothing. Now, I, got, I do have to ask, or is, is the facility aware of your rap status? Yeah, they hit to me. You know what I'm saying? A lot of these officers and shit, they be downloading my music and shit, popping up at my cell and shit, 
talking about, yeah, I, I just heard that post game music, man. That shit hard. That rap bass and I'm dead. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> JPay, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what's up, man. That's what's up. That's what's up. So, um, well, I'm sorry. What you say? No, I say I got a lot of motherfucking CEOs and shit. You know what I'm saying? That be telling me like, man, keep doing what you're doing when you get out. You know what I'm saying? This and that. But I got some motherfucking gang coordinator motherfuckers that be hating on me and shit because of my album covers and shit. But they can't fuck with me though, cause it's legit. Indeed, man. Before we uh, jumped into this interview, we had a few words. Uh, a few words before we uh, hit the record button, and you was telling me about a book you had uh, wrote and released from inside the walls as well. Um, you want to want to go into that, man? Give us a few details about the book, and you know where people can find that and pick it up. Yeah, the book is called "Can't Stop, Won't Stop." It's by Keith Chaos Lope Brooks. You know what I'm saying? It's, it, you can buy the book from um, Amazon, RapBay.com, Barnes and Nobles. You know what I'm saying? You can download the digital version from Kindle. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, the book, it's a, it's a memoir. It's like an autobiography and shit. This call is originating from an Ohio correctional facility and may be recorded and monitored. Yeah, it's an autobiography and shit. It, um, it takes you from uh, my childhood all the way up until my, you know what I'm saying, some of the crimes that I committed in the streets end up getting locked up and taking over the prison system out here and banging and fighting and all types of shit, you know what I'm saying? It's a real good book, you know what I'm saying? It's called Can't Stop, Won't Stop. And uh, I think everybody should go ahead and snatch up a copy so I don't, they can know who Chaos Loke really is, you know what I'm saying? Since Now, this book right here was before I started dealing with rap day, before I got my chance to release music nationwide. So my mindset was a little bit different because it was just all violence and didn't give a fuck about a lot of shit. You know what I'm saying? My future was foggy and shit. It's like I was just breathing to get even. You know what I'm saying? But once I became, you know what I'm saying, uh, you know what I'm saying? Once I started fucking with Rap Bay and Urban Life and they gave me a... You have one minute remaining. Once I started fucking with Urban Bay and Rap Life and they gave me a shot and an opportunity to put my music out nationwide, a lot of things has changed in my life, you know what I'm saying? So I ended up writing a second book. And my second book is called Still Can't Stop, but it's more inspirational. But the first book, Can't Stop, Won't Stop, uncut, raw shit, you know what I'm saying? Just straight details of the life of Chaos Loke. How long did it take you to pin that? Shit, I only wrote that shit, it only took two months. <laughs> I had an opportunity to write a book. My homeboy said, hey man, go ahead and write a book, you know what I'm saying? These motherfuckers want to hear your story. So, shit, I just got straight on it. Two months, it was done. Hmm, that's what's so, so, what was the, was it a long process uh, after writing the book, going through the process of getting it published, put together properly and everything like that? No, it wasn't. Hey, this phone about to hang up, so I'm about to uh, hang up the call right back. Okay, all right. Thank you for using GTL. This call is now being recorded. Okay, uh, you were saying about the process of the book, turning it in and getting it, getting it released? Shit, it wasn't really uh, a hard process, see. Basically, see, the only th only problem that I ran into was getting it edited because at the time, I couldn't type my book up like I can now, you know what I'm saying? So I had to write this shit out with a, with a pen and shit on a piece of paper and shit. So I had hundreds of pieces of paper and shit that a motherfucker had to read and then they had to edit it for me, you know what I'm saying? Retype it up, then send it back to me, make sure it wasn't no mistakes and this and that. You know what I'm saying? So that was the hardest part, you know what I'm saying, was having them type that shit up and read my handwriting. Because they done made some mistakes because they didn't understand the way I was talking and all that shit. But, you know what I'm saying, uh, after I got it edited, you know what I'm saying, I proofread it, you know what I'm saying, and I, um, I published it through my company, East Coast Mafia Entertainment. Now, with the, with the final product, how, you said you had to do it by hand, initially. How many pages did, did the, the, the final product end up being? Shit, I think like 226 pages. 226, so it's a small paperback? 
Yes, a small place. This call is originating from an Ohio correctional facility and may be recorded and monitored. Yeah. That's what's up, man. Congratulations on that, man. You know, uh, 12 years ago, did you ever think you'd be pinning up your own book <laughs> and releasing as many albums as you have? Shit, not behind these walls, and no, I really didn't because I was caught up in the system, you know what I'm saying, caught up in this banging every day, and I kept, you know what I'm saying, reaching out to, you know what I'm saying, certain rappers and certain individuals and shit, trying to link up with them, but they weren't fucking with me because of my situation. They're like, oh, this nigga locked up, man, what can he do from in there, you know what I'm saying? So, shit, hell nah, I ain't seen none of this shit coming, you know what I'm saying? But when I came here, I just looked around at my situation, I said, man, look, I'm in a fucking cell 23 hours a day. I can't come out of my cell without handcuffs and shackles on. I can't sell no weed. I can't sell no motherfucking cigarettes. I can't do none of that shit. I can't chase the bag like I was on the main line. So what the fuck am I going to do? So I had to use my brain. You know what I'm saying? I said, I'm a hustler, man. What the fuck can I do? So I reached out to Rap Bay. I've been wanting to rock with them for a real long time. You know what I'm saying? I've been a customer of theirs. You know what I'm saying? I wrote them a letter. You know what I'm saying? And um, We had a meeting on it. They gave me a shot. And uh, shit, I've been shooting towards the moon ever since. Again, shout out to Rap Bay, man. You know, they didn't give a lot of people their first opportunity. Um, actually, I believe they gave, they gave me one of my first opportunities as well, too, you know. Keep the, keep the dream going, man. man. So shout out to Ryan, man, and all the people over there, man, holding down the West man, Coast man. in the Bay Area. For sure, though. That's man, so um, you working on a new album? Yeah, this new album is called East Coast of Nostra. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it got 16 tracks on it. Uh, I came at a different angle on this one. You know what I'm saying? We lost the homie. You know what I'm saying? Nipsey Hussle. You know what I'm saying? Shit, rest in peace of Nipsey. That like, wait, you know what I'm saying? Uh, fuck me up for real. So uh, I gave him a shout out on this album, and I dedicated like three of songs and shit. You know what I'm saying? And it's an honor. You know what I'm saying? I put a little positive message out with a song I got on there called "For the Culture," and another song called "Killing with Success," and another song called "Community Revolution in Progress." You know what I'm saying? I came at a little positive angle to um, send a positive message out to the listeners and shit on those three songs. But uh, this album right here, man, I'm gassing on it though for sure. Is is it wrapped up and done already, or are you still putting the final touches on it? Oh, shit. It's already wrapped up and done. I'm just waiting on a couple of features to come back. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully X-Rated, you know what I'm saying, going to be on there. You know what I'm saying? He said he was going to hop on this track I got called Respect. You know what I'm saying? And um, another homeboy I got is named King Locust, you know what I'm saying, from Akron, Ohio. I said, I'm going to put him on a song called More Money, More Bodies. You know what I'm saying? But the... But the project wrapped up, ready to go. I'm just waiting on the features to come back. You mentioned earlier before you uh, got into your little uh, trouble, you was about to hook up with Spider Loke. Have during your time being down, have you ever have you been able to get back in contact with him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me and Spider, yeah, we talked. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we talked about a about a month ago. You know what I'm saying? Uh, shout out to Spider Loke. Yeah, we're going to be working together real soon. You know what I'm saying? I'm just, you know what I'm saying, trying to find some beats, you know what I'm saying, that can, that we can both collaborate on, you know what I'm saying? Because he got a certain type of style. And when I come fucking with Cuz, shit, I got to come correct, you feel me? So I need a motherfucking, a certain type of beat, you know what I'm saying, to, to rock that motherfucking track. But uh, I've been speaking with Spider, you know what I'm saying? We on the same page. We're going to be working together real soon. It's official. That's right, that's right, man. So, new album, uh, you got an expected release date yet, or or what? July the 16th. July the 16th. East Coast, no, July the 16th. Okay, July 16th, okay, new album, uh, book in stores now, available online, uh, Pick it up at Rap Bay, man. For all you uh, listeners, you know, I know y'all know what's up with Rap Bay. Uh, <clears throat> new album coming soon. If you don't already know about Chaos Loke, man, you can go to thesignus.net 
uh, audio channel, uh, YouTube channel titled, uh, entitled Sickness Radio. And, uh, you can check out a couple of singles on there, or you can just hit sickness.net, uh, audio section, man, and just put Chaos Loc in the, uh, search box and, uh, what, whatever we have up on him. We got a few, uh, we have a few songs. We got a few, um, articles, uh, pen, penmanship by the man himself. You know, he spoken from his words and his hands, man. So you can check, <coughs> check those out. And, um, Man, right now, I got to say, man, um, you know, I talk to a lot of prisoners um, when I do these interviews. You know, it's a lot of guys in the same situation you you are in. Um, I got – I've been contemplating lately. I mean, I, every time I do an interview, I try to, you know, with the negative, whatever's going on, I try to do some positive as well. But, you know, uh, the price of the lesson, man, that's what I'm – Ohio Correctional Facility and may be recorded and monitored. The price of the lesson is why I'm gonna start calling these things, man. So you know, we already know the price is. It, it took your freedom for a few years, man. But what's the biggest lesson you've learned um, with the situation that, you, that you're currently in? Shit, stay away from fuck niggas. <laughs> Shit, don't motherfucking <laughs> make yourself accessible to these broke, buster ass, motherfucking jealous, envious motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? And um. Uh, Shit, keep your head up, stay focused, you know what I'm saying, and stay in that studio, and, you know what I'm saying, chase your dreams, and don't let, never let a motherfucker tell you you can't do something, you know what I'm saying, because you can do anything that you put your mind to, you know what I'm saying, stay sucker free, man, and, um, shit, if they ain't, if they ain't about, if they ain't doing what you're doing, man, you know what I'm saying, stay the fuck away from them motherfuckers, man, because they gonna hate, you know what I'm saying, period, point blank, I learned a lot, you know what I'm saying, um, I'm working on a, I'm also working on my documentary right now at this time and a, and a movie too. Yeah, I just signed hands contract. full. <laughs> yeah, I just hands signed the contract. Full. Yeah, I just signed the contract last week. You know what I'm saying? The local Delhi movie coming out, the self-made and legendary documentary uh, Chaos Oak coming out soon. I got three years left on my sentence, but I'm trying to get out early. You know what I'm saying? Shit, I'm coming to the Bay Area. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to sickness.net, urbanliferapay.com. It's for Dev, though. Shit, I can't be stopped. That's what's up, man. We're looking forward to the future projects, man, the documentary, the movie, um, the new album available, coming out in July. It's just in, in time for the hot summer, man, you know, the hot summer and the drop tops. Um, anything else, man, that you did that we did not cover in this, in this interview, man, that you might need to say? Before your phone hang up. Shit, I'm coming. East Coast Mafia Entertainment gonna be here for a real long time. My homeboy Grizz low. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you snatch his album up. It's called First and Foremost. You know what I'm saying? He one of the hottest motherfuckers in the motherfucking valley right now. You know what I'm saying? That's my nigga for death though. You know what I'm saying? Make sure y'all check his album out. That's my artist. You know what I'm saying? We always collaborating on something. You know what I'm saying? Check out my homeboy Screezy's album. Shout out to my motherfucking big homie, Big Chaos Uno. And shout out to Baby Chaos. You know what I'm saying? Shit. East Coast Mafia here. And we here to stay. We ain't going nowhere but to the motherfucking top, man. And it's rap paper death.